And when we had lured her into the woods, that's when Jacqueline and I were going to murder Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> stuff in the news. There was the, the murder of Skylar Niece. The, the Texas girl killed her friend in a sleepover. And of course, you've got all the, the Slenderman stabbings. Yeah, teenage girls are killing teenage girls way more than you think. Yeah, it's a real thing that's really happening. <laughs> you just never think it's going to almost happen in your own home. And, and now, I would have called the cops if the three of you hadn't been friends since kindergarten. We caught it in time. Nobody got hurt. Stacy's fine. You know, what I would like to know is how 13-year-olds came up with such a sophisticated murder plot. You girls thought of everything. Why are you praising them? <laughs> <laughs> right. Frankly, I can't, I, I cannot even understand how you two came up with the perfect murder. You're <laughs> only in eighth grade. There are adults who couldn't do that. You know, frankly, it scares me how cleanly you would have gotten away with it. <laughs> Planting evidence that would have led straight to Stacy's dad? No one would have even looked at you. A common mistake is planting too much evidence. Yeah, murder is a nuanced intersection between art and science. <laughs> <laughs> Seem like a crime of passion without getting too sloppy in your work. Speaking of passion, do you hear how these two were talking about their project? Okay, this is not a science fair project. They were planning to murder my daughter. Dad! <laughs> well, why'd you do it? Because we're teenage girls. And teenage girls love murder. <laughs> and we saw this documentary about serial killers who were all like super cute. <laughs> and then we were like, we want to plan a murder. Yeah, Stacy planned to murder us too. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I did. And I wrote all right here in my murder journal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stacy's murder journal? Yeah. Stacy, if the cops found that, you can move. Honey, it's, it's incriminating. Do you know what incriminating means? <laughs> okay, of course she knows what incriminating means. She's not a moron. Go ahead, tell him, Stacy. It means when you're in crime and mating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, well, let's just read what her plan was. Okay, step one, push them in quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> and then they sink in it and die. <laughs> well, why quicksand, though? Why didn't you just shoot them with the gun? Mr. K. <laughs> gun violence is a huge problem for American kids. <laughs> As many students have died this year as U.S. servicemen in the military. You hear that? I have a very woke daughter. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, no guns, but where were you going to find the quicksand state? I don't know, Dad, like jungles or deserts, whatever it is, think it through thoroughly. Clearly, it's a very childish plan. Okay, she should try it, okay? <laughs> Could work. It simultaneously kills the victim while also burying the body, which is like a huge asset. <laughs> Wait, the quarry has a silt pond that acts like quicksand. There's a night watchman, but he could easily be taken out by a couple of my mom's ambient. They think of it like a game of chess. Do you see that, Stacy? Okay, okay, okay. So then we like so we, we like find a picture online of like someone who like looks like her crush. Richard Ramirez, the night nice stalker. her all culminating into a midnight rendezvous with the chorus. Catfish, she knows how to catfish, she's so good with computers. Yeah. <laughs> so then like, I'll just like the boy, he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, I'll like stand on like one side and then like the silk pond will be between us and then like, I'll like run to her. Yeah, she'll like run to you, like right into the silk pond and then she'll like, hey, she'll struggle, she'll struggle, but the vacuum just pulls her down further and further. Oh, oh no. <laughs> search goes on for weeks because the cops are just stuck. <laughs> the only thing they can't figure out is why Bob used a burner phone to call his daughter. What's a burner phone? And it was purchased with his credit card? Oh. <laughs> 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 I got you again, Bob. That was a very impressive burner plot brainstorm, girls. <laughs> why are you encouraging them, Tom? Maybe if you were a little bit more encouraging of Stacy, she would have more confidence. Maybe you're 
right? Casey, <laughs> you had a real great quicksand murderer plot. Yeah. And then they sink in it and die. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> <laughs>